Hi guys. Um. Ooh. Well, I started a vlog yesterday and done some today, and I just thought, sod it, I'll just delete it and start again. So that's what I've done. Um. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, not tomorrow. Yesterday I wasn't really up to much anyway. I changed the inner tube in that boy's mountain bike. We got that ready for collection today, which was picked up around about 2.30. I misread. It was actually between 10 and 3 p.m., so it doesn't matter. I wasn't planning on going anywhere today, so... Um, the money arrived for those cars, lots of cars, so I've got to uh, organise that after midnight. I then hope I can get the printer to work. <laughs> I haven't had it turned on for a while. In fact, should be plugged in. Why no power? Oh yeah, that's why no power. I haven't turned the bloody socket on. I keep getting lazy. I've got this battery charger plugged into that, but that one is plugged into this one. But instead of me turning the switch off on that one, I keep flicking it off here. It's only because I'm sitting in the chair here, so... There you go. Fire it up. Let that sort itself out, and hopefully, when it comes to printing off the label, because I'll sort it out and pay for it, before I go get my money out of my bank account so it's done and dusted. Or I might get my money out of my bank account in the morning, it just depends how I feel. <sighs> uh, yeah, so the money arrived for those cars in Scottish money. <laughs> Believe it or not, despite Scotland being part of Britain, they do you well. It's exactly the same value, you know, but the design of the notes is completely different. Um, as far as I know, it's legal to use it in Britain, and we can use, or in England, I should say, in Eng we can use our English version up in Scotland. But I don't think the shops can give it as change. Uh, but uh, I did ask on a money saving Facebook group and they said some shops might get a bit finicky about it so I thought and then they said you can exchange it in your local um, bank branch so I just went in my local Lloyd's and uh, exchanged it straight swap basically <laughs> so yep that got cashed up uh, I've done, I haven't really done a lot today. I've had to do a repair on that building because uh, Catzilla down there knocked it off the uh, cabinet. That's a bit of a daft place on my part to sit it though. And uh, I don't know why. I must be good at building because all my buildings, actually the roof came off in one piece because it does that. So the roof was actually laying on the floor in one piece, but the only bits of this building that actually came off was this, the back wall, and the doors, and this centre wall. That was it. And they came off in sort of chunks, so I've actually just realised I've forgotten to put brick back in there. I'll, I've got the brick there, I'll do that later. So I must build my buildings really well, because it was like a jigsaw puzzle to put it back together. It didn't disintegrate into pieces. So, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. That one over there, there, did the same thing when I dropped that. <laughs> so, uh, I presume I'm pretty good. Design my buildings well. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play a bit of GTA in a little while. Um, I think decide. Get myself one more. I don't know if I will tomorrow when I 
and my money goes in. I don't know if I'll have enough spare. I might get a really small set or a couple of them. But uh, I don't think I'll get another 17.99 one. I think I've only got one 17.99 one left to get. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and I think there's only six. So I think I've only got have only got the one more of that size set to get. See, my plan is is to get the sets from the city range as quickly as I can. Then I haven't got to worry about it. I'm not concentrate on other things. That's how, that's how Lego mad I am. Um, I had another look for some... Or, well, you know the headphones or the headset died for the computer, so I've been looking for another headset. Do you think I can find one at a decent price in town? No, that's how shit this town is. I do headphones with a 3.5mm audio jack. Um, and the only place that does headsets, USB 2.0 headsets, is Cash Factory. They want a fair bit of money for them. So, me being me, you know, having quite a small budget anyway, decided to jump on eBay and I found a pair of Trust. In fact, my subwoofer down there is a trust subwoofer. Um, someone was selling them, £5.50 start bid, £3 postage, which is the usual postage for a small parcel over here, which is a bit daft because it doesn't matter what actual size or weight the parcel is, it will still be £3. Uh, for example, I could pack something into that box, that box of cards there, um, and, it would and it would cost three pounds, and this box is smaller, and it would still cost three pounds. <laughs> That's um, what I find daft about the method our post office uses, but there is quite a way, I think you can post up to two kilograms for it to be a small parcel or to qualify as a small parcel. Uh, I think that might be over two kilograms which is why I'm going to send it via a carrier which is why I need the printer down there to work. Last time it didn't want to connect wirelessly. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping it will. But uh, keeping in mind my Windows 10 updated and fucked up all my settings. I've, I've slowly been going through putting all the settings back as they were before I update. Why that Windows has to do that when I updated, I don't know, but it did piss me off. You know, it turned all the settings back so all media files played through Windows Media Player, or whatever they call it now, instead of VLC, which is my default media player. Um, I had to choose a program to view pictures and photos again for some reason. I don't know why that setting changed when I updated. So yeah, that's another or one of the few piss offs I've got with um Windows ten at the moment. Now if you're gonna update, leave the frickin' settings alone. You never had that sort of problem with bloody Windows 7 or anything like that, did you? It just installed the update. It didn't play with any settings. No, not with Windows 10. But what can you do? You know, there's bloody flaws with Microsoft and there's flaws with Apple, so... And they are the two computer companies that have the monopoly of the market, so you're not really spoiled, you know, you're not spoiled for choice, you've just got those two options. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, you may have noticed that the BMX isn't leaning up in here. That 
because I've had the tin of paint out, stunk the flat out because I forgot that silver paint stinks, and I've gone over the handlebars and the cranks, and uh, I've painted the um, chain ring up as well just to tidy it up with some black paint. I tried to paint the black pedals because someone had painted them silver as well, and all the, it was all flaking off and looking horrible, but to be honest, the black paint I put on it hasn't made it look much better. I think I'm going to take those pedals off, throw them in the bin and put another pair on. <laughs> if they'll come off. It's going to be my luck now that they won't come off, isn't it? It's going to be bloody sod's law. I still haven't found those headphones I had here, you know. If I could, I could have just bought a um, USB adapter. Um, which I actually had one before, and I wish I kept it now. But never mind. I gave it to my cousin. <laughs> so I didn't think I'd need it, but then again, I think what the one I found was two pounds forty nine and you literally just plug it in a USB port and you can plug headphones with three point five mil jack into that and a microphone. So I could have used that, but I figured well well I need a new set of headphones anyway, because those other ones that I've been trying to find aren't that brilliant. So I figured either way I might as well just buy another headset and use that. Probably, probably continuously running over the lead with the chair. That probably didn't help the old set. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pulled the rest of this phone cable up. This was installed in here when I moved in. Because there is actually under the bed on I don't know if it's on the actual um, trim or the skirting board, as we call it over here. I was watching a One Lonely Farm video where he's been um, doing up his house. He calls it trim, so but we call it skirting board over here. And there's just there's a phone jack just under there, but uh, as the only other one is down in here up that corner on the wall there and my computer's in the lounge, I figured I would um, wire in a brand new one over here. That is a brand spanking new one I put in. Actually, I think that socket is. No, the socket isn't, but the cable is. It comes straight off the um, roll. I've still got the roll, actually. And, uh, it's clipped in. And mind you, my cable clipping could have been a lot better up there. That is it, but I did the rest of it all right. Well, there you can see, no switch. Yeah, see, I didn't do too bad up there. I could have done it a lot bit better there. Well, let's just say, if I was doing it in a customer's house, I would have done a better job. Nah, but uh, it'll do for my house. I'm not a proud person, you know. It'll do. It works. Pardon me. I must have the camera on. I think me and Vlog and Life should have a competition. I'm not actually sure who would win a fart in a competition. I like the fart. And mine can stink. No, that one's not stinking. And yet, at other times, mine don't stink. I haven't got around to tea cutting those frames. That's still on the uh, to-do list. Oh, so much on the to-do list. It's just sort of getting motivated to do them. I might actually surprise you to go to bed early because he's probably had a long day travelling. So yeah, a friend of mine in France has just done it pretty much similar to what Vlog and Life did, except uh, the difference is Vlog and Life didn't quit his job. He got, uh, you know, what do you call it, fired or laid off, you know, because he got his severance money. Whereas my friend in France actually quit, 
handed in his notice and quit. Um, pretty much for the same reason. Uh, different jobs, you know, my friend worked, I've got to use worked, in a cell phone shop, selling cell phones and whatnot, and had to deal with stupid and abusive customers. They're either one or the other, or both. <laughs> you know, I know Vlog and Life was working in a call centre. And pretty much had to deal with the same thing, but for different reasons. You know, R8 customers over the telephone, and uh, stupid customers over the telephone. So My friend had been doing his... That had been uh, that. <coughs> Try again. My friend had been working in a cell phone shop since I've known him. And we met online in July 2005. How about that for memory? See, I can remember things way back like that. Easy peasy. Ask me to remember what I did yesterday. No. <laughs> so, you know, I've got a really shit short term memory, but long term memory is great. So, what's that? That's ten, coming up to eleven years. Maybe I'll, I might feel old. <clears throat> Before anyone says, but it's only a friend of mine, it's not a real friend. Well, we have met in real life several times. So, yes, it is a proper friendship. The only difference is, we live in different countries. But yeah, he's, uh, He's visited here a few times when he's uh, when he um, took holiday time off work. It was either here or he'd go and visit friends in America. He's got friends over there as well. You know, he'd visit someone. So it wasn't every year when he took holiday that he'd come here. Just depend on what he wanted to do. Even my model for my Lego town is looking so disorganised at the moment. It's actually driving me up the wall. <laughs> it really is. I need to get some organisation in here. Um, oh, yesterday I was playing around with those amplifiers. Now, the silver one, the Pioneer on top, that does work, works fine. Works fine with these speakers, um, but the only issue is I do need to take it apart and give the balance um, knob here a bit of a clean because it was crackly and uh, it was causing the left speaker to drop out and not work at times without giving that a good old sort of slap or a wiggle. Um, so I tried the black one and I couldn't get the uh, speakers to work at first and they did after a while but this one hates small speakers like that it's all the sounds just distort it's like even on low volume this thing gives out too much power for these little speakers um, I could if I really want to set up a couple of stereo speakers because I've got a couple of spare through here they are... where's my light switch? Up there, on the cabinet. With the silver ends, they're there. <laughs> but I really couldn't be bothered. And for... £8.50 total, I've just gone and got another headset, so I might as well... I've waited, I don't know, what, three, four days? I've gone without headphones now, so I'm sure I could wait another couple at the most, I hope, for um, some more. Uh, this might be a bit of a long vlog, but uh, anyway. Well, Mum sold the um, Mitsubishi pin in. Uh, some Romanians bought it. They offered a 450 quid. And yes, it's being export. They've come up from London tonight and she left at 7 o'clock this evening. And they only left Mum's 
for the drive back oh, no, about half an hour ago I think 45 minutes ago it's now quarter past 11 at night rather them than me but I suppose at night you know and they've got a good clear road so if they really wanted to you know they could push down that throttle a bit more just hope no coppers catch them I don't agree with speeding though just don't get caught if you are going to do it <laughs> and don't do it at stupid times during the day either do it at night you do it at night especially where I live there's hardly a cop car around <laughs> no traffic to get in your way either or very very little so do what you bloody like Actually, I bet that does happen quite frequently, but because there is no one around, you just don't hear it. Uh, so, yeah, that's sold. Her car's going to Romania. They are exporting it. They paid for it tonight. It's being picked up Monday. Which isn't a problem. You know, it's paid for, I suppose. You can sit there for as long as it wants. <laughs> as long as need be. Uh, so yeah, am I going to be looking for another set of wheels? No 450 quid in a lot, but uh, it's better than a kick in the teeth, I suppose. Um, something else I've completely forgot now. Uh, I suppose tomorrow I should put the BMX up. I'll pay for some connects tonight as well. I'm not going to keep my buddy wake, wa waking, mm -hmm. waiting any longer. Uh, so yeah, I'll get that paid for. I've actually been charging up some um, lower rated rechargeable batteries I have. Because um, I've actually noticed the um, black and silver tronic ones I got from <laughs> Little, I can find them, they were. Yeah. I actually thought these were 2500 milliamps, but they're not. They're 500. <laughs> and they run this camera pretty damn well. So I've got some 800s I've charged in here. I think I've got two pairs of 500s I charged in that one. So, uh, some of them are quite old. So I don't know if they've taken charge and how long they're going to last when in use. Because a pair of these I'm going to put in my beard trimmer. So there's four. I'll stick... I can wrap my meters over here. Huh. Alright. What we'll do then. I'm going to sit on a couple of hard drives. I don't actually think. They're both SATA hard drives. I don't think either of them actually work. I'll have to test them. Let me sit you there. Let's see if they've actually taken the jar at all. I'll try and uh, get this on screen. I don't know how well it's going to come up on the screen. No? Not very well at that angle, is it? Uh, um, I do it like that. Is that going to work? Can you see that? You can, but you'd have to tilt your head, I'm afraid. Alright, I'm going to start with 500 milliampies ones. Amp hour or ampere? Someone help me out there. So what have we got in this one? What? One point three four. So that is charged. I want to put some of these in my LED bike light as well. It's weird how these are actually slowly increasing the voltage on there, but that's the same. 
In fact, they may want a little bit longer, to be honest. We'll try them as they are, though. What about this one? What have we got? One point three seven. So that's charged. Yeah, I'm gonna um, probably put these. I bought these brand new, so I've never used them. Ooh, ooh, that one's charged up to one point four. Oops, might be a bit too much. Right, let's try this Uniross one. One point three six that stopped at. So that's taken a charge. These are eight hundred yeah they are eight hundred. That's right then. Start solo, that started at about 0.5 volts. Slowly increasing as you hopefully see. We're we gonna stop that. One three nine that one. Pressing on that one a bit too hard. Oops. Part of plastic covers come off on this one. Rechargeable batteries are the only ones I've had that slowly increase on the meter like this. Ooh. Not as good these ones. It's only one point two five. I found a couple of icky ones. Maybe an icky one, because this one's not bad. Well, that one might be a bit of a duff one. Well, that's good to know that they've uh, charged okay at least. that came out of bloody um, solar lights, just these, these are really nasty low powered things. I actually haven't said that, that's a 700. Should put these on an overnight charge as well, see if they're going to charge. In fact I may do that, I've got these Uni Ross ones here. I don't want to keep them if they ain't going to be any good, you know. Is that 700 as well? That must be it's the same as the other one. Yes, I'm going to charge those. And I've got... Oh, look at these ones. A couple of old Everettys. Are they the same rate? These are, These are my cards. I think that's a 0 0.65 amp hours, so I presume if I use my head that would translate to 650 milliamps. So that one's going to be the same, so those ones can go together. And I've got, what's this one? That's a 1300. That can go in here. I've only got one of that brand, but you never know. 23. That's a big boy. We can go in there as well. What else have we got? What's this one? Is that the last one? It's a GP. That's a 600. Well, if I've got those ones in there, I ain't going to have enough room, so that's an odd one anyway. So this is actually odd, so can we keep the odd ones in there and I'll just charge up that one, I think. In fact, so it's not a pointless charge, I'll put these Energizer ones in as well. Don't think there's any more in my thing, so... Might as well get these charged up. Well, they were charged, but I doubt they are now. 
So I've just got a bunch of triple A's. I've got some, um, I think these are 500s, these ones. They'll do to run LEDs if I charge them up in there. Might as well, you know, I've got all these and I'm not using them. I might as well, um, charge them up, put them in use. Stop messaging me. One, two, three, four, five messages. Oops. I'll get to those in a bit. <laughs> Hell, that video went up quick. Uh, so, like this, we'll plug this one in. and do this one handed. It's gonna work, it's not with my left hand anyway. I think I might be ambidextrous when I'm using a screwdriver or a spanner. Oops. Right. So what do we got? Do I turn these on yet? Minimum I'm going to want to put the ever readies on for is about seven hours and ten hours for the other ones. So what's seven? Um, I'm not going to turn them ones on yet. I've got other battery. I've got two more battery chargers actually. I'll just use those ones for now. So actually, what I'll do, what I'll do, I'll take the white ones out and I'll do those in the morning. And I'll just do those two yellow ones for now. Double A's as well. I might as well take those out and give those a test. Shitty D cell there, D cell there. Any more? Any more? It doesn't look like I've got some button cells at the back there, but. garden lights. Anyway, can't think of anything else. Got another ever ready there. Got a pair of these blue ones. I don't know what they are. 600. Green ones, what are they? Are they sixes as well? They must be. Ooh. I've got four six hundreds there so far. I've got this one. That's another six hundred. I've got this feeling most of them are. Garden craft, six hundred. Every substance in the bottom of this. Oh, this one's a nickel metal hydride. Twelve hundred. Yeah, nickel metal hydride at five hundred. That one. And another yellow one, which is six hundred. Right, I think that is it for all my rechargeables. Apart from.
apart from um, the triple A's I've got in here and a couple of uh, another 600 1200 there is this one that's another 1300 I know I've got a 1300 up there it's there's a Uniros, but it's a different colour. Oh well, that'll still work, won't it? How many of these green ones I've got? Phillips. Nickel Metal Hydride again. Six hundreds. Hmm. I'll do, see if I can get them to charge. Uh, oh, I've got an odd one in there. A couple of packs of new ones in there that I bought and never used. What about these ones? What are they? Ultramax rechargeable nickel metal hydrides. I've got to get the silver in the right light, otherwise I can't... can't fucking read it anyway. But they're probably 600, so... That'll be tomorrow's job. See how many of these I can get charged. <laughs> May end up having to get the other charges out, I think. Fact. Think. Could. This one's on the top. Very mucky one, but it works. Mm. Pardon me. Oops. GTA has switched off. I've left it too long. Anyway, let's grab the cable. Let's have a look at their guide on this one. This one's a um, faster charger. Four hours to charge the, or four hours, fifteen minutes to charge a six hundred milliamp hour um, AAA battery. Ooh. Three hours fifteen for eight hundreds. I suppose the six hundred triple A's would come under that as well, wouldn't it? Right, in that case I've got to load that up. I can only charge four at a time though. Uh I'm not gonna do the triple A's yet. That means I could do a few charges tomorrow, couldn't I? Let's do these. I'm not going to put them on till morning, though, because um, they don't take that long. I can't get the battery to go in the. Why won't that go in? Ah, there we go. La da da da. I don't think it'd make any difference, but I like to do them in matching pairs, like that. I'll ask them why, like I said, I don't think it makes any difference, that's just how I like to do it. Anyway, I'm going to disappear, I think. Oh, let's do the tags for this video I've stuck up tonight. In the description, I don't think there's anything else I need to add. So, thanks for watching. Get to like and subscribe, and I don't know why I do that with the thumb, so <laughs> naughty. <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe, and uh, please, and thank you, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.